morning everyone today i am going to do the flip teaching about the topic inverse trigonometric function first let us talk about function function is a topic which we have already talked about in class 11 in class 11 we have taught that function is a special kind of relation and for relation to be qualified as a function we have two conditions that is if we define a function between set a to b then every element of set b set a should be mapped no element should be left and also every element of set a should have only one and only one image in set b if we take an example here we i have defined two sets a and b here in set a i have the, these elements in set b i have these elements you can notice here that no element in set a has been left uh, without an image and they only have one image in b and also we have to talk about three terms domain range and codomain in here the domain is all the elements in set a constitute the domain and the range is nothing but all the map images that is 5 6 7 8 which are being mapped to two elements in set a here codomain is the entire set b now we have to talk about the denotation uh, we uh, we denoted by f of x is equal to y where x are all the values on the domain and y are the respective map images now we talk about trigonometric functions trigonometric function is nothing but function in which trigonometric is involved which we have already learned in class 11 these are some of the domain and ranges of trigonometric functions now let's talk about inverse trigonometric function inverse function inverse function is nothing but where the domain of the original function becomes the range of the inverse function and also the range of the function becomes the domain of the inverse function this is denoted by f to the power minus 1 of y is equal to x f inverse of y is equal to x where y is the original range of the original function and x is the domain now we talk about inverse trigonometric functions here what we do is nothing but start the domain with the range and the range with the domain but you can see that certain values of the range are not the same as the domain of the original function why it is because when we look at the graph of the origin of the inverse uh, function this is the graph of sin inverse of theta we notice that for every one domain we have multiple images formed so what we do is we crop or we alter this data and we only this graph and we only take a section of this graph which is from pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 so that when we look at this only this portion of the graph we notice that for every domain there is only one and only one range that's why for every function the ranges are altered from the original domains and we get this 